Hi, I'm John Everett with Zern Industries. Today I'd like to show you how to maintain a Z1088 backwater valve. But before we do, I'd like to explain to you what a backwater valve is for. Backwater valves are installed in sanitary sewer lines to prevent the return flow of the effluent during periods of high use or during periods of flooding. So for example, say in your, your local uh, sewer system, all of a sudden we have a lot of people imparting a demand on that system. The system can overfill and it can start to back up into your building. So what a backwater valve does, in essence, it's nothing more than a check valve and it prevents that effluent from ever backing up into your building. Now the Z1088 is indeed a backwater valve. It's got a check valve inside. It's nothing more than a swing check. But the Z1088 has an added feature and benefit and that is it has a shutoff valve inside. So suppose we were in an area of the country that was prone to flooding. We may have really heavy rainfall, it could overwhelm the sanitary sewer system, and we could have that backing up of the effluent into our building. Now again, the check valve is going to stop that, but there's an added layer of security in that this valve serves as a shutoff valve also. So you get kind of dual protection there. You've got the check valve preventing the effluent returning into the building, but also the shutoff valve to give you, give you a good positive uh, insurance that we're not gonna have that effluent backing up into the building. Now the purpose of our video today was to show you how to maintain this product, and it's relatively straightforward. First, I wanna go ahead and take the cover off of the Z1088. Oh, get that cover off. And once we get the cover off, it exposes the handle to the shutoff valve. Now inside here, there are four three-quarter inch bolts. We're going to remove those bolts and it will allow us to pull out the screw and the wedge of the shutoff valve. So it's pretty straightforward. We just want to get in here with a wrench and get things loosened up so that we can remove these bolts. And they're not in super tight, they're just tight enough to hold it in. It is a gasketed fitting. There's a uh, cork gasket in here. So I'll try to go as quickly as I can, but we get the four bolts out. And again, they utilize a three-quarter inch wrench to take these out. There's a third and finally the fourth bolt. And once I get all four bolts out, I just simply have to grab a hold of the handle of the shutoff valve and I lift it on out of the Z1088. And you can see what I've got here. Basically, it's a screw and a clapper. Once we get this out, we're going to want to go ahead and reach down inside of our backwater valve and clean out any debris that's potentially down in the bottom of the valve. You can get your arm all the way inside there to clean it out, just wipe up any debris that's laying in the bottom of it. As far as maintenance for the actual shutoff valve goes, we're going to want to clean this up too. We're going to want to clean up our clapper face. We'll want to make sure that we have no debris around our screw. Just basically give it a good thorough cleaning. Once we get that cleaning done, we go ahead and lubricate our stem will lubricate the face of the, the clapper too. And also down inside, we have a corresponding seat that that clapper mates with. It's got an O-ring seal in it. So we're gonna to wanna to clean that off and then lightly lubricate that area too. Now, as far as sealing goes, in the top of this, there is a cork gasket. Most of the time when we pull the, uh, the, the gate valve assembly out, we're not gonna damage that gasket. But in the event that we did, we're certainly gonna to wanna to replace it. In this case, the gasket's in good shape. So like I said, we'll go ahead and re-lubricate, and you can see there's quite a bit of lubrication on this already. But in the event that it's a used valve and it's been in service for a while, we'll want to re-lubricate that. Again, re-lubricate your screw. Uh, basically any type of grease, an automotive-based grease would be fine in this. It's for the sanitary sewer system, so we don't have to worry about it being potable water. Once we get it all lubricated, we can go ahead and reinstall the shutoff valve. It simply slides back into place. We go ahead and we align our bolt holes and just simply reinstall our bolts and get them tightened down. And that will take care of the maintenance portion of this. Now we did talk about it briefly at the beginning, but just to reiterate what it's for, the backwater valve prevents return flow in that effluent line. And it has that additional feature of a shutoff valve in the event that we have heavy flooding in the area that could cause severe backing up of the sanitary sewer system. If you have any questions about what we've done here, we strongly encourage you to give Zern Industries a call. Our customer care department can walk you through this procedure. Or if you find that there's something a little more technical in nature, they'll hook you up with the technical services manager or any, anybody that can really describe this product and help you work on it. Please don't hesitate to call us. We're here to help you. Uh, any questions, they're fair game for us. Give us a shout.